Get the number one rated tire and wheel coverage anywhere, starting at $180 per year. Visit thervadvisor.com today. This is the RV Advisor Podcast with your host, Tom Alexander. Get all the latest information, trends, advice from experts, stories from the road, and more in the world of recreational vehicles. Now, here's Tom. Hi, everybody. Welcome to the RV Advisor Podcast. My name is Tom Alexander, and today I am joined by the Prohas. It is Brittany and Brent, and uh, they are from Oils and Grace Tribe. That's where you can find them on Instagram. Hi, folks. How you doing? Good. How are you? How are you doing? <laughs> doing well. Doing well. Thank you. You guys are in um, uh, Kissimmee, Florida, not too far from... Uh, all the theme parks and everything. Um, so it's, uh, you know, a, a lot going on there. Of course, uh, here we are in COVID time still, but so it's not exactly normal, but uh, that's okay. You know, we're, we're, uh, we're all, we're all uh, kind of veterans of this, this new normal, I guess you could say, right? You guys are doing okay? Oh, yeah. Yep. We've definitely found a new groove uh, since all of this has happened. So <laughs> I think we're we're yeah. we've kind of figured it out now. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's good. That's good to know. Um, you know, th this uh, podcast is both seen and heard. So, for the folks just listening, I can tell you that uh, uh, placed placed perfectly between both Brent and uh, Brittany is their Christmas tree. Yes, that's right. It's it's uh, we're recording this. Um, in, in early, well, I guess mid-November, mm -hmm. but uh, they got their Christmas tree up. They're, they're, they're ushering in the holiday season, um, maybe ahead of a few of us, but I think it's just great. The tree looks awesome, and uh, you, it's, it's, it's festive over there. It is. Oh, yes. We needed some more joy in our lives, so we decided to throw up all the Christmas decorations. <laughs> all right. You know what? Good idea. Looks, looks really, really nice. So now you've got, <clears throat> did I read this right? It's a full-time traveling family of uh, seven? Yep. yep, and a dog and who's a, currently snoring our, next to our us. Our bulldog is currently. Ah, what's the bulldog's name? Helen. Helen, all right. We name her Helen because she reminds us of a grouchy old lady. So <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, you know, bulldogs, they're just, they're the greatest. And I see more and more bulldogs on TV commercials now than ever. I mean, they are just becoming really the go-to for, uh, I don't know, for cuteness, whatever, lovability. They're great dogs. And yeah. uh, they're, they're, they're definitely in my top five uh, breed of dog. Uh, they're, they're, they're terrific. Yes. How old is Helen? She's going to be 16 months. She's 15 months right now, actually. Oh, okay. So a youngin. She's just a pup. She, but she has an old soul. Yeah, that's, then, a, that's good. Most bulldogs yeah. do. They kind of do have an old soul, right? And we have five children. Uh, they ranges, they range, ugh, the age ranges from yes. four, almost five, to 13. Wow. And so um, they're currently in the back, uh, in the toy hauler back here, watching a movie. Um, but they love it. Yeah. I mean, from where we're at now, before we were in a travel trailer to now, it's like yeah. the Taj Mahal for them. So they, <laughs> when they're in the back, they're just all spread like, out. This is our life. space. Yeah. We started full-time traveling actually in a little tiny, uh, travel trailer that was about 220 square feet. Mm. Um, and they in the uh, living room area that we converted every night. And so, um, now we have the toy hauler, which is about 500 square feet with the deck down. And yeah. so to the, then it's like, the big house. it's huge. Yeah. So, yeah, <clears throat> that's amazing because, you know, um, it, it seems, well, kids are great at making adjustments. I mean, they, they'll just, you yeah. know, in, in most cases, they're just, you know, Hey, we're, wherever we are, wherever we are as a family is perfectly fine. Whether it's a little cramped or spread yeah. out, you know, it's, they, <laughs> <laughs> they they said they tend to adjust pretty pretty well uh, you know it's you guys got you guys have almost fifty thousand followers on instagram that's that's incredible yeah were you surprised by you know the the growing how long first of all how long did it take you to, to get that many followers and also you know were you surprised by people you know just hopping on board and saying hey what what are these folks doing over here let's follow them 
Yeah. So we, I started that Instagram, um, about five years ago. Um, I was a stay at home mom and we had a farm in Washington state and we had built a custom house like on raw land. And so I wanted to share about motherhood and just like, um, basically like the design in our life and stuff. And so, um, so we grew it. And then when we started traveling, um, I think we were right under 20. I think we were right around like 25,000. Yeah. And, um, you would be surprised at how many people wish that they could just kind of like get rid of the, the, um, responsibilities of having this big mortgage and take care of big house and all this stuff and just go full time. And so, um, so yeah, we, we grew then and we thought we knew that there would be some community, um, but we didn't know how much, and it's crazy how many families now have started full time. Jump to this side. I mean, right now, right down from where we're at right now, we have a family that we travel with. Yeah. Then where we're going on Sunday, there's two other families that we travel with. So there's always this um, part of community that you, when you have a home and sticks and bricks that you get, but now since being on the road, we've kind of built this community. So now we all just kind of travel together, which is yeah. Kind of- Wow. It's crazy because like last year during the winter, I mean, it honestly was about 50, 50 retirees and families, um, at a lot of the parks that we were staying at. So there's a lot of families that are, um, that are full timing now. So that's kind of fun that, yeah. you know, we can all do it together. And, and you can start seeing the transition of younger families that are, can work remotely, especially during these COVID times, all the kids are doing online for the most part are doing online school. So you see a lot of families that are doing it for a year or maybe two and then, end up doing and, then and then transitioning because a lot of the jobs now have went remote. Yeah. So, I mean, this summer, I would probably say we saw more families than we did any retired people. Yeah, for sure. Which yeah. was, which is the first summer we've seen that because this is our third right. summer. Yeah. Yeah. I, we've talked about this <clears throat> on the show many times and you know, the perception is, and I guess still the majority are, you know, of RVers, full-timers are, are, are uh, retirees, you know, but <laughs> we have seen a tremendous increase in people in your age bracket, uh, your demographic that are, are, are doing this full-time with families, they're working from the road, they're able to have their lives on the road and you know the fact that you're traveling with other folks you've got a a mobile community a moving community right Uh, you know there was a show called mash right now mobile army surgical you know surgical uh hospital and they were with the ability to move right they could just move the whole operation somewhere that's what you guys are doing you're you're just moving your life from lives from town to town but not just you the community that that's around you, that that extended family, if you will, right? Exactly. Yeah, because one of the number one questions that people ask us is like, "Don't your kids get lonely doing this?" And no, not at all. Because <laughs> they literally have their friends that they travel with. They're constant. In fact, I like get mad at them because I'm like, "You have to do your schoolwork and you have to do your chores before you go out and play," because they're so always nice. thinking that they can just like have their friends and play with it so we're always with families and it's great that we have that we literally have like a traveling neighborhood so yeah well i could i could tell you from experience both having been a kid at one point in my life and also having a a son uh it, it, it's uh that that phenomenon occurs whether you guys are on the road or you're in brick and mortar <laughs> they, <laughs> they they want to they want to they much rather play uh, yeah. with their friends and hang out with their friends than hit the books. Um, I was certainly like that. And, uh, you know, I, I could tell you. Uh, let's take a quick break. We want to speak a little bit more with you guys, learn more about what you're doing and just traveling in general and on the road and, and uh, Oils and Grace Tribe um, and, and the origin of that, the origin of the name. So we just want to check that out. And uh, we'll do that when we come back from this break. This is the RV Advisor Podcast. Back in a moment.
The RVACA is a charitable organization protecting the rights of RV owners. With your help, we'll work with dealers and manufacturers to ensure quality controls in place prior to delivery of an RV. Additionally, the RVACA provides assistance to disaster relief victims. Visit RVACA.org. We are back on the RV Advisor Podcast. My name is Tom Alexander. My guests are the Prohas. They are Brittany and Brent. Brittany and Brent Proha, and they're from Oils and Grace Tribe. That's where you can find them on Instagram and join the other almost 50,000 followers and check out their adventures on the road. Oils and Grace Tribe, tell us a little bit about the origin of that name and, and uh, and you know, just the, the just the whole the whole thing that you've been doing here for the last uh, five years on Instagram. Yeah. So we so our business and how we are able to travel is we um, help facilitate the sales of essential oils, and so um, that's something that we've used in our family for six years. And so we kind of share how we use those, and um, and that's where we make our income. And then um, as far as the grace comes in. Uh, just the fact that we have five children and we need a lot of grace in our life so that I don't uh, go off the deep end. <laughs> and so we just, we need a lot of grace in our life. And yeah. so um, we kind of put those two together and um, we have a great uh, tribe of people who love to follow us and kind of like to see where we're at. And so it's just yeah. kind just, of worked its way <clears throat> into um, you know, our name and just who we are and kind of what we emulate as, um, you know, what we do. So wonderful. wonderful. Take us through, I mean, I guess obviously the pandemic has been a, a little bit of a hindrance in some capacity in, in terms of, you know, normal routine. Um, but with all things sort of under normal circumstances, you know, how, how often are you moving from place to place? Is it weekly, every one couple times a month, once a month? How often do you normally move along? So <clears throat> we kind of do it in two different ways. During the spring and summer is when we do a lot of our like traveling where we're typically at a place no longer than a week because that's when we do all of our like sightseeing, national parks, museums, wherever we want to go for the uh, year. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and then, so... Yeah, I would say about a week. I'd say no maybe, longer than a week. Sometimes no, maybe a little no faster cost. if we're trying to get somewhere. somewhere. But, but um, during the winter time, so usually from the months of November till I'd say beginning of April, we're kind of staying a general area. Mm -hmm. So we're at a place maybe three weeks, and we kind of just bounce around that general area. So like for example, this winter, we're going to be in the Central Florida area mm -hmm. for the winter. So from pretty much November till. I would say the end of March, and then we'll start our trek towards where we plan on going this year, which is kind of up in the air right now. <laughs> it all kind of depends on what's going on with the COVID thing. But um, <clears throat> we, during the spring and summer is really just go, go, go. And that's why kind of in the winter time we, we want like to just kind of chill we, out a little We need bit. that reprieve of just going, okay, huh, we've seen a lot. Let's yeah. relax. Some stability for Some the stability, kids. Yeah. <laughs> And, and yeah, yeah, yeah. And, <laughs> yeah. We, we don't stay at one place for the whole winter we debated on doing it this year but yeah. we decided just not to um, with our membership we can't stay longer than three weeks somewhere so yeah uh, winter we stay somewhere for three weeks and then we have to leave for a week and then and we, we come, can back. come back for three weeks so right, right. And usually at the end of three weeks we're kind of ready to go, to go for weeks um and because we are like we do have that like we're kind of bored being here kind of a thing. Like we've done it, yeah. like now we need to go somewhere else and kind of see it. So normally no longer than three weeks that yeah. we're in the area. Yeah. So the, the uh, well, you know, the one consistency though, and I guess the, the good thing is, is, you know, at the end of the day, you know, it's four walls you're familiar with, right? Yeah. yeah. And we, we like and to that, say that our inside always stays the same, but our outside always changes. Yeah. So yeah. Ability inside um but then our we get to see our backyard basically changes, changes. every one to three weeks yeah we had a we had a, a, a couple of folks on that uh, the, the our new front porch was their sort of their handle you know? I love 
love that. And and yeah, and and because their front porch changed constantly, you know, every few days or a week, of you know, they had a new view. And and it really is the case with all RVers. They you know traveling RVers, full timers that do see something new all the time. It's and the one takeaway I always seem to just you know. At, uh, kind of from the outside looking in, because as you can tell, I'm sitting here in brick and mortar in my home <laughs> office, home studio, is um, particularly with kids, it is the education, you know, it, 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 you know, because it's such a great thing that you're, you know, they're seeing different places around the country that let's be honest, most, most kids don't get to see on a regular basis. You know, maybe they, there's that two week vacation once a year and, they, they see some place or they go to the beach, but it's, but the, the constant mode of sort of exploration, you know, and hear something new, you know, and, and new people and different kind of cultural phenomenons, depending upon where you are in the country, right? Um, different kinds of food, even whatever, you know, depending on where it's just, it is, it's an education, isn't it? Yes. Yeah. And that was like our biggest thing when we hit the road, because like, it said we were on a farm in a podunk town in washington yeah everybody looked the same yeah you know, so right when we, hit, when we hit the road we really wanted our kids to experience different cultures and different areas and climates and different types of people how people well, did things and just like in general like how different parts of the u.s like work make money because like where we're from big tech all that stuff, you hit the Midwest, it's a lot of blue collar. Um, and I think a lot of people get stuck in where they're from, where they're from, where they like have to stay in their hometown because that's where they're from. Yeah. And we want that for our kids. We wanted them to be able to be like, well, I really like that one time that we went to Oklahoma and maybe I want to go to college or move there or something. Mm -hmm. uh, or maybe I want to go here and, and live there. And so we wanted them to be able to like, choose that and not feel like they're stuck just because they were born and raised there right um, have to stay there. well that and we wanted to change the new norm a lot of people are all about getting stuff and we were our big thing was about experiences like our big thing is we wanted to create experiences for the children instead of just keep getting them stuff because we realized when we had this house and all this stuff is all we kept doing is pumping stuff with our kids and like you said you know, we take a two week vacation for the for the year, we go to Disneyland or we go do something, but yeah. we really didn't get to explore what this country has to offer to people. I mean, we've been able to see Abraham Lincoln's childhood home, all this stuff. Sure. Yeah. That you would like we probably would have never done. Yeah. yeah. So we're more we're more about experiences now as opposed to stuff. Obviously we can't really buy them a bunch of things <laughs> for five kids. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. So it's been uh, it's been definitely a fun journey the last three years, um, seeing how contentment um, changes for them because before they got filled with things and now they're content with so little, um, and so that's kind of well awesome. Yeah, that's awesome. It's a great lesson. Um, they're 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 learning uh, humility and gratitude and all those things. And, and besides that, they're seeing this great country and, and it is, it's, you know, people forget, you know, we say those words a lot. Oh, America, it's a great country, but you know, and those words mean something obviously, but when you go out there and you really see firsthand, right. What it is yeah, yeah. and the, 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 the diversity and not only from a culture standpoint, but from just terrain and it's yeah. just, it's so diverse. It, it, it's, it's amazing. Really. It's an incredible place. Yes. I mean, it, it yeah, really, really... I mean, we've driven through some places that I, I was telling the kids probably two, three weeks ago, we were driving through this little town in uh, Georgia. I had the boys in the truck. And I was just like, we're just driving through all these peach farms and everything. And I just look at the boys and I'm like, you know what? If we weren't doing this, you probably would have never, ever seen any of this kind of part of the country. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like, you know, and just sitting there like looking at all the trees and they're just like, oh my goodness. Because you never really, it never, you don't think about that. You're just like, okay, we'll go on vacation. We'll go to a big destination. But the I mean, small town America is where it's the it's, most beautiful oh, and the people are so nice. Yeah, sure. Like, over states. Yep. 
that nobody ever over states, right? Right, exactly. Yeah, we <laughs> hear that we hear that phrase a lot. And but when you're on the ground and you're going through it, it it doesn't feel like a flyover yeah. state. And there's a, it, it's we've experienced this, especially during COVID. There's such this good community feel in these small towns where you go. Everyone's trying to help everybody yeah, out. It's very welcoming. And uh, they just take you in with open arms because they know that they can't survive without you. You know right. what I mean? And everyone, yeah. everyone in it's just awesome. Yeah. Well, that's, that's, that's terrific. Well, listen, we really do appreciate your time. We appreciate your adventure, your journey. And thanks for coming on. Thank you so much. Thank you for having us. Yeah, it was great. Well, let the folks know one more time where they can find you. So you can find us on um, Instagram, and it is oils, um, the word and grace tribe. Um, and basically, that's where we're at. So oils and grace tribe. We're on Facebook, but generally, we like to share a lot on um, just our posts and our Instagram stories um, on Instagram. So Terrific. Well, that's, uh, that is the Prohas, and that is a family of seven plus one. And that one, his name is Helen, the bulldog. <laughs> We've had, we haven't seen Helen, but we, we love Helen anyway, because uh, Helen's a bulldog. So, <laughs> Prohas, thank you so much for joining us, uh, and uh, safe travels wherever you go. Thank you so thank much. You. This is the RV Advisor Podcast. We'll be back in just a moment. RV owners and those thinking about owning want to maximize the fun and minimize the hassle of buying an RV, you need GPS. It's Gigi's personal service. Our $350 package gets you me, the expert advice, and a host of outstanding services. Visit the RVAdvisor.com. Hi, everybody. Uh, we are back, and uh, this this segment, uh, uh, that smiling face you see, in, in transit, by the way, I should put, you're, you're, you're always on the move, Neve. Always. Always on the move. Um, well, that's Neve Carey. That is our, Neve Carey Zocco. I got to remember now. It's got to, got a Married woman. The the married lady, and, um, <laughs> and, and there you go. But, you know... Um, we're going to have a lot of fun in this in this closing segment uh, from here on out on the podcast because we're going to let our, our friends know that, you know, we're going to be coming up in, in 2021, which is right around the corner. Yeah, we're going yes. to have, uh, you know, more social media interaction. You know, we're, we're going to have some posts and, uh, you know, on all our social media channels on Facebook and Instagram and, and so forth and, 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 and Twitter, right? Mm. Um, so, you know, what contests what all kinds of stuff right yeah yeah i mean i want to like heavily rely on our um audience our followers our members yeah. to tell us what they want um i'm gonna try put out some posts over the next few weeks along with the social media team ask what you know everyone would like to see more of um we're trying to ramp it up obviously we live in a time where social media is you know the be all and end all of all things it is isn't it business and good or bad yeah, i mean <laughs> yes, exactly. It's the way it's just the way the world works now. So, yeah. yes, we're very excited for 2021. We're trying to just ramp up on all of our platforms, um, including our own website and um, the Orvi Advisor website. Yep. Um, we want tips and tricks and all sorts of tools for our members to be able to use on the site itself. Um, but yeah, as well as that, we want to run competitions. I'd love to see and hear more from our followers on what they'd like to win as a prize, what kind of competitions they would be interested in, um, what sort of posts they would be intrigued by on a weekly basis, and just overall ramping up the amount of posts and informative messages, you know, that we can post throughout the week. So yeah, I mean, we're all very excited about it. Um, it takes a lot to come up with, you know, new ideas, make sure that we are creative in different ways on different platforms um but yeah Ooh. we're all very excited no we are excited and and uh you'll you'll learn about it right here at the end of each podcast it'll either be uh it'll either be you neve or it'll be uh our new team member iris uh joining us yes. uh to to jump in and just sort of share what what's hot what's the latest uh, going on at, <laughs> at rv advisor 
and um, and it'll be right here, right right here in this closing segment. So thanks for sort of you know kicking things off, cluing us in on what what to expect down the line. And of we want to hear from you as well, of course. You know, anything you want to ch chime in on, by all means, do it at uh, info, yeah. right? Yeah. Info at the rvadvisor.com, yeah. info at the rvadvisor.com. Thank you, Neve, and, and, and safe Not travels enough. wherever the heck you're going. <laughs> you know, the only place I can get a quiet moment away from the kids is in the car. <laughs> is, is that it? That's, so that's, that's that, it, yeah. The truth is out. That's it, huh? Yes, yes. That's why I'm always in the car. <laughs> I got gotcha. you. I got gotcha. you. All right. Well, Neve Carey, Zako, thank you so much. And uh, of we, course. Will, we will see you again soon, as always. Of course, I should let everybody know. It's all it's no secret. Neve does all the booking here on the show. She, she, she gets us our guests and... Uh, Yes. She's the person you would interact with if you yourself uh, came on the show to join us. So uh, yes, uh, it's a lot of fun. We we have it a, is a lot of fun. We ha we have we, a, we have a good good team here uh, on do. the podcast. We've met some wonderful wonderful people along the way so far. So it's exciting. We sure have. We sure have. We've yeah. learned a lot and uh, just made made new friends. And and that's yes. kind of what it's all about, isn't it? For sure. Okay, well, for Neve, I'm Tom Alexander. Thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. This is the RV Advisor Podcast. We'll see you next time. So long, everybody. Bye. Thank you.